Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Do you hate the GWM Emergency Lane Keep Assist ELK system as much as I do? I doubt it, but welcome to the club if you do. So today I have um, discovered something and I'm gonna share it with you. It might be obvious to some of you, but trust me, it will not be obvious to a lot of you. And hopefully I will help you make these ELK and intelligent driving systems, the intrusive ones in your Haval Jolien, in your Haval H6 a little bit less annoying. Now, what are we going to do? What am I referring to? Well, emergency lane keep assist systems are intrusive. They're invasive. They wrestle you when you change lanes. They do all sorts of things. Watch the videos on my channel. I don't want to rant on for too long today. Uh, you can't turn them off permanently. You can them off, turn them off temporarily when you start the car. Every single time you start the car, you can turn them off and you have to turn them off, okay? So what I've discovered is basically a shortcut, a shorter way to deal with those intelligent driving settings. Would you like me to show you? I'm gonna show you in a second. We're gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna continue talking to you and show you exactly how to do this. So the car is on and it's a little bit sunny, so I apologize for the glare on the screen. I hope you can still see everything and I'm gonna hold the camera as stable as I can. In order for you to turn off the emergency lane keep assist system so that it doesn't wrestle you as you drive, normally, typically, you would have to do this. You would have to go into the car menu, then you would have to go to intelligent driving, then you would have to expand this, then you would have to find the, the option that always comes on, after you restart the car, see ELK, emergency lane keeping. Sometimes I call it electronic lane keeping, that's incorrect. It's emergency lane keeping. And we press off, now it's off. Now you can go off your merry way and drive. The other systems here, fortunately, stay off. They stay in whichever state you turn them off. So lane keeping function stays off. Emergency lane keep fu function keeps coming on and that's what I com keep complaining about. Anyway, so that's how you normally would go. It was a few a few taps here, yeah, to get here. Now, here is the not the most life-changing, but certainly making life a little bit easier option of how to make this a little faster for you. Let's go back to the home page, and you see your you see your infotainment screen here. These are the widgets that are currently set up here. But first of all, and this is as a bonus in case you didn't know, you can change these widgets that are looking at you here in Haval H6 and Haval Jolien. And I speculate right now, but I think the electronics is the same in Tank 300 as well. So in order to change what you see here, first of all, and that's your first step, in order to change, you first tap and hold anywhere on the screen for a bit. See how these frames appeared around these around these widgets. So first of all, you can you can tap on the one that you don't need, and you can just remove it. So credit where credit is due. I do think that um, I do think that this is where GWM actually has succeeded. I do think that they succeeded. I'm actually quite a fan of this system. Problem is that they give us these options of adding things very granularly like this. Yeah, presumably I press a plus and I can add something to it. And um, I don't know, by the way, why my phone is lagging. Like, apologies for that. But you press a plus and then you look for another, for another basically widget to add. So media would have the radio. There, there is also radio um, specifically. And then there is vehicle, vehicle settings. The one we need, my friends, is the driving mode, this one. See, now it's over here. Excellent, very, very convenient. This is actually, I like that. I just want more widgets, personally, yeah, while we're here. You press complete, and now we have this. And now, next time, my friends, all you need to do, instead of going all the way into that menu and clicking there and, and scrolling and finding the options, all you press is this intelligent. And it takes us straight there into Lane Keep Assist system, which, by the way, if you stopped the car and then restarted the car, one thing it remembers is that this Lane Keep Assist system, it will stay expanded instead of you needing to expand it again. So that's good. So it will stay actually expanded. And this is where you straight away can press the Emergency Lane Keep Assist off, and that saves you at least a tap or two and makes it a tiny bit easier for you. Not life-changing, like I said, never pretended it to be, but when I discovered it, I thought, wow, 
one less tap, boom, intelligent, boom, off, done. One problem other than emergency lane keeping of GWM and Havel vehicles is lack of wireless connectivity to its infotainment and wires have proven to be unreliable. This is where sponsors of our videos come in with variety of discounted wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto adapters. I am using one that gives me a separate dedicated screen for my Google Maps for example, but you might want to choose one of the smaller, cheaper and more subtle ones. Check out the promo discount links in the description of this video and thank you for your support. And this is it my friends, I promised to you a very little instructional video which has hopefully helped you if it did give the video a little like uh, share your own findings share your own shortcuts or whatever you found in your Haval H6 and Haval Jolin and any other GWM vehicles because I'm sure that my audience looks at the commentary as well as at the video itself in in search of such little helpful shortcuts but this definitely made me a little less annoyed about the ELK it makes it a tiny bit quicker to get to it to turn it off and hopefully it will help you the same way. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a lovely day ahead wherever you are. And I'll talk to you next time very soon. Goodbye for now.